hello viewers in this tutorial we are going to show the projectile motion of a particle under the force of gravity so let's begin simulink blank model for this we will need a source of constant acceleration so right here constant ok uh, then uh, we will need a integrator ok then control c control b ok we will need two integrator i am explaining this one later and to show we will need a scope ok let's try to understand here uh, we will have acceleration which is of constant below so let's change we have acceleration just in one direction so in x axis we have acceleration of 0 in y axis we have acceleration of minus 9.8 okay, okay. Uh, let's connect this one after integrating the acceleration, we will get uh, we will uh, get a value of uh, we will get velocity. So from this we will get velocity. So uh, from here uh, in this line we will get acceleration, acceleration, and okay. Okay, in this line we will get velocity again uh, if we uh, if we integrate the velocity we will get uh, displacement so in this line we will get the displacement okay. now uh, we have to uh, keep the initial conditions here uh, first uh, we are throwing the particle with a velocity of uh, 100 meter per second end at an angle of 30 so uh, we'll have a uh, initial velocity let's click double click out there so initial velocity is 100 star cos d 30 i am uh, giving here d for degree okay and in the y axis we'll have a velocity of 100 star into sine d 30 okay then okay okay and uh, we have a uh, zero displacement so zero zero okay uh, okay now let's see the plot This is the plot of displacement in the x axis which is uh, linear it's all right and this is the uh, displacement in the y axis now uh, it's a uh, displacement versus time graph well, but uh, we are willing to see a plot of x y what can you do let's see uh, let's uh, bring a dmax dmax then sorry, then we will need a xy graph this is the xy graph ok just connect with one another ok ok and give a input from there simulation uh, we have to increase the limit okay double click out there 
for showing uh, we, uh, we need just minimum value of x is 0 ok it's fine and minimum a uh, maximum value of x let's give is 1000 using 0 and it's around 400 will be ok ok and to increase the resolution of calculation the resolution up to three decimal okay run the simulation now okay. uh, increase the time let's say 20 second Still calculating, and you see the projectile motion out there. Okay, that is all for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Thank you.